Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here. It is April 5th, uh, the day that I recorded this video. Things uh, go interestingly, so have a, have a watch, but I have to apologize. The game audio, uh, for whatever reason, just did not record. It's just gone. Just totally, totally blank. So, uh, yeah, I apologize for that. Uh, I was having a pretty rough day. I've been feeling like a little bit off lately. Like, I don't know why. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, here is the, uh, here's the video. Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back. This is Operation Swamp Strike. We need to destroy the alien relay. We've got a really bad dark event that's hindering us. And, uh, it's gonna make things even more difficult. Um, whereby it halves the amount of time we have after we break concealment. So that's not good. And uh, I've had a lot of suggestions on maybe scaling back the increased enemy squad size until we get more, um, uh, until we get our squad size up to a level that's, like, equivalent. But, uh, I don't know. I think that the the opinion's pretty split there. Um, for this mission, we're taking out Calantro, Nichols, Easterbrook, Parker, and Nova. Wish me luck. I'm certainly going to need it. Things are being uh, exacerbated by the fact that we have the fatigue mod on. And so our guys aren't as high rank as they could be. We've lost a high rank official in the last one. In the last mission. Uh, so we really need to just push towards those squad size upgrades to try and level the playing field somewhat. I feel like if we can make it through the next... I don't know, three or four missions with uh, less than a million casualties, then we might be okay, but I think it's going to be really difficult. And that was part of the intention, right? Is to make things um, a little bit more challenging. I certainly think we've done it. But let's see how this mission goes. Oh yeah, great. It's really close by. Yeah, see, so four turns to do this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. We do have concealment. That part's cool. Um, we have no windows here, aside from above, where we can get eyes on the objective. So we pretty much have to kind of skirt around this side, which is nice because it seems to be a kind of an edge. Um, but if we skirt around this side and get close to the objective, the only real chance we have is getting close enough so that when we break concealment, we're killing this in like one or two turns. Um, but the further we have to go to do that, the more of a chance there is that we're going to stumble on multiple enemies, right? We should probably go up top to take a look. Uh, we do have a king with phantom. So that's something that we can utilize. Let's see. Let's just put Parker in here. And then let's bring Easterbrook over. If we can get up on the high ground without uncovering uh, or running into a bunch of enemies we might be okay we are again we're really close to the edge is this cover yeah it must be cover let's head up okay that's good now we would see enemies if they were over on that side so i feel like we could pretty safely move to the edge <clears throat> okay Let's bring up Easterbrook. Bring up uh, Nova. Some people are asking uh, why I have the shard gun on Nova. Because she should be able to shoot and then, um, you know, shoot a regular gun. Like, she can do the same thing with the shard gun. It's just, I think at this point we need to maximize our damage output to try and clear out enemies. So that's my, um, that's like my reasoning behind why I'm doing that. Um, the other question is why is I'm not why I'm not using an SMG? Um, 
for Nichols, who by definition should be using an SMG. And it's only because we're in like the next tier of weapon upgrades. So he only gets he gets the benefit from using SMGs, which is uh, cool. But um, he doesn't like even if we have an SMG on him, he's not going to deal the amount of damage that we deal with this upgraded weapon that we have. So that's the thought process for that one. We'll keep him on the ground as uh, more of a of a recon unit. We have a lot of a lot of ground to cover here. Um, I feel pretty okay about moving to the garbage. Uh oh. Oh god! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is, uh, scary. It's really scary, actually. Okay, let's bring Nichols up. These guys aren't going to get anything done from this cover. We are, however, getting really close to the objective. Um, so that's, that is pretty helpful. Oh! Oh, God, I thought those were, like, troopers. We would have been screwed. Okay, let's, um, let's focus on getting these guys down here now. Now, unfortunately... <laughs> they actually can't come down that way. If I move further this way, there's a chance that we run into enemies on the road. So I'm actually going to bring them back down this way. Uh, we could just jump in here for now. Is that not... Why is that not happening? Okay, so we can jump down here. Why are we not taking that option... Oh, I see. Maybe we're just out of the the limits. Okay, now that one we can't. If we run around this way, it's fine. Jeez, really have to like micro these guys right now. That'll do. And then we can bring in uh, Seeker. Whew. That was one move? Oh. Alrighty. We'll take it. I see no other way of doing this other than this approach that we're taking. Now, can we get eyes on the objective? Like, what's going on in there exactly? It seems like from over here... Okay, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing any visual, even if we're, like, right next to this. Is that not an open window there? I mean, it looks open. You would think we would be able to see it from here. Interesting. All right. Maybe what we do... We try to get in vision with Nichols, right? And then Nichols can uh, just spot for our sniper. We now know of three enemy locations, and they're all pretty much right close to the objective. Not surprised. Let's try and bring these guys down. Bring Easterbrook all the way over. Bring Paulina down. Or Paulina. I'm actually not sure. And I feel like... I mean, this... This angle here looks really good to me from this full cover position. But I'm not getting any indicators for the objective. And maybe we have to, like... Maybe we have to spot the objective before we can actually... Uh, get the... The preview. That could be. Oh, now they're moving. Okay. Shit's about to hit the fan, I think. Just stay up top. Man, if we could land a grenade up there, that would be amazing. But, oh no. These guys are going to screw up my entire plant. Okay. Shadow. See, and like, yeah, like even if we're inside, we're actually not getting um, indicators in the objective. So, 
I kind of have to like go with my gut, it seems. Which I don't like doing in this scenario. For obvious reasons. Um... Where's it going to be the safest? Like, nowhere is safe. Maybe here. Still. Look at all this. Oh my god. We kind of have to wait for their patrols, I think. I could maybe tuck in here, but I don't know. That group probably would have vision there if they come back, I'm sure. If I go next to it, there's a pretty good chance that there's a group inside, and that's going to cause some problems. Um, let's just back here for now. Yeah, they're coming in. We might not have a choice here. We might not have a choice, so I'm going to start trying to get these guys away from this other group so that they don't trigger, but that's not looking too hot. I can pull back here. I can bring Calantro over. And we could bring Easterbrook back to this side. A little sketchy still. Unfortunately, Parker, I cannot move. And so I have to hope that they don't walk down past this point, which at this time it looks like they may do. Be cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. It's happening. And spotted. Spotted? Whoa. Okay. That's a that's a huge issue. This is a huge problem. This is a huge problem. I think we have to take the risk here at getting shot at upon revealing. Uh, just so that we get the first shot. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't see any other options. We're going to get revealed, I'm sure. Oh, they're leaving! God. That was like... That's insanely close. We're not out of the woodwork yet here. Like at all. Uh, you know what? With her, we can move her back. This is good. They're leaving. We can try and get eyes on the objective. We can isolate this little group of troopers, potentially. Okay, so these guys now have this whole area locked down. It's impossible for me to get vision, it seems. Like, how are we meant to engage on this? How, what would be the best thing? Like, I think we should isolate this little group of troopers. Just try and break vision. We're getting there. Oh my god, another group up top too? I thought they were on the bottom, but at least like... Yeah, it's not good. This is the thing, like... Because if we engage, there's no way we can clear them out in four turns. We can't go back and forth against this many enemies. And if we engage early, we can't... We can't get to the objective in four turns. So, like, we're kind of... It's like, down if you do, down if you don't. In a sense. Um, and that's really scary. Okay, let's take this opportunity to maybe, maybe we can skirt around and try and, we just want to reveal the objective. And get one group instead of three. So there's the troopers. 
Uh, he still got the mech. Or she still has the mech in sight. Let's bring Nichols down. I'm actually really surprised that we didn't, like, hit the, uh, or trigger the objective. Because I kind of thought that we would by this point. Okay, now these guys are moving. Fantastic. Look at that guy. That's special. If we had a Grenadier available, then I would totally start this. And I actually... Actually, this might be the time that we have to engage. Or try to get them to engage on us and just take the risk that they might... Um, they might shoot back. I think that's a risk I have to take. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Nova right here. And I'm going to hope that they walk into her. I could even... Let's do this. Let's aid protocol her. Oh my god, are you joking me? That's insane. It's too many. That's just like, couldn't have went any worse. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, oh, there's the shot, okay. Protocol, pay dividends. Well, that's two troopers down, that's good. Oh, he's shooting too. Oh god. I'm really happy about the aid protocol right now. Come on, guys. There we go. Come on. Oh, there's like a slim chance that I can feel. Okay, I didn't know that they all had a chance to shoot back. That's scary. And look at, like, look at all those stun lancers. Four stun lancers right now. Are you joking? Okay. Well, here's the thing. Um, we can, there's a chance, there's a chance that we can kill the sectoid. Okay. It's a pretty good chance. Flanking is good. Um, the aim is 93. Uh, I'm targeting him because I don't, like, we can't afford to have a soldier be mind controlled. That would be disastrous. Uh, we also have this grenade if we want it. Which makes the other ones easier to kill and we just target all of them. And forget about this trooper even though he could totally kill one of us. But I think, I don't think we can pass up this level of, uh, potential damage, can we? I wish I could hit and get rid of that cover, but these guys are going to be exposed. In the back, at least. And then we've got half cover to deal with. We're going to have to be bold here and just hope that this mech stays up there for the time being. Okay, we got four damage on the sectoid. That's helpful. Uh, we could throw another frag if we wanted. That would take them down to two each. And three. Then we would need three other shots. Which we would have in these guys. Um, I definitely am not going to leave Polina out in the open. So we're only going to have one shot with her. A pretty good shot with Calantro. Or or we get the giant flashbang opportunity. Um But if we kill that group, we don't need the flashbang. We still have three to deal with. Ugh. Gross. I think this is gonna be very challenging. 
The other option is um, we just take our shots straight up. It's five to seven. So if we hit, he's dead. And then we could take another shot with Paulina. We could get in close. Hit, dead. And actually, if she hits the... Uh, yeah, it's six to eight. So if she hits the sectoid, he's down. I would just have to move in a bit closer. I'd probably move maybe over here. But the range is not like as good as I would want it to be. I could maybe make a... I could maybe move Parker over a bit so that she can move into the full cover. It just I'm just thinking to get as close as possible with the uh, with the shotgun. And then Paulina. We have to move you up. Probably to the full cover. Diamonds. We've got the shotgun again. Chances are not ideal from here. They will increase once we get closer. And then we have Seeker. It's four to six. Four to six. Four to six. That's what I don't like. Because I'm kind of thinking maybe I can take out those other three. If they all hit, they could, we could kill them. And then she could take out that trooper. Uh, but they all have to hit. You know? If we stayed back here, and we just took these shots, that would be really helpful. Um, but they're actually not that great, so... I think what we'll do is we'll move in. I, I, I'll move to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, just... I'm not sure exactly. But I think I'll move to the car just to make our chances as good as possible. Okay, there's the objective triggered. Yeah, so this is a bit more helpful. That's a kill there if we hit it. Uh, Sean, though, I think is our lowest damage. Five to seven. So which one do we have the best chance of hitting? So 77 on the one in front, 73 on the one in back. Um, diamonds, if we move you up, which we will. Then we've got 81 on the one in front, so that's pretty good. And 72 on the one in back. So he has a better chance to shoot the one in the back. That's what we're going to go for. Let it be, Parker. Yes. Good job. Okay. Diamonds. This is the one we want, right? 72 on the sectoid versus 74. Yep. Come on, Easterbrook. That's why we carry shotguns. Those crit chances are insane. Um, come on now. Keep it up. Yes. And then, if this hits... Oh, God. Well, at least it's a trooper. Jeez. He's just standing there. Okay. That's better than a mind control. That's helpful, and karma's a real B. Oh, she dodges two of them! Wow. Okay, okay, that's our, that's our chance back in here. That is our chance back in. We have two turns left. Uh, we have to clear these guys out in this turn. Has to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, let's start by seeing if we can take get rid of this Overwatch. 
Because we're going to want flanks on these guys, right? And we're going to have to move in to make that happen. Okay, beautiful. That's what we needed. Now, these are pretty good chance of just killing these guys outright. We do have the zombie, but I'm thinking if things don't go well, we can flashbang him. And he'll lose the zombie. Um, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's the right thing to be thinking, but that's what I'm thinking. I am worried about that trooper. Um, but we, like, we have to kill the... We have to kill these. So let's see if we can... If we can get one. Did not crit. That hurts. Oh, one friggin' damage. Okay. Mmm. I imagine that if we don't leave somebody here, this trooper will come around and try to flank us. But we'll have to worry about that when we get there. Okay, so she has a shotgun as well. I think we got to take the highest crit chances on the full health. Oh, no. Just not getting lucky right now. All right, well. You know what I think we do here? I think we use that one grenade and we just make it happen. Kill those two. Bring Nichols around to this side. Hopefully kill off this trooper. Actually, oh no, that's on the the zombie. There we go. Okay. From here. You know what? I, I'm actually... I'm going to come down here. I want to stay as far away from that other group as possible. We are going to have to bring Kalantro up to land the, uh, the flashbang, but... Oh, God. Just please do not blow up my garbage bags. <laughs> please. Okay. This is good. This is good. Um, flashbang. Oh, we don't even have to move. Even better. Which means I am going to move, of course, because I don't want to get revealed. God, but what if? What if I move too far? What if I move too far? Is the question. Because actually, look at this. Like, if we get too far this way... I mean, it looks like it's still hitting even from over there, but... I just worry that... You know what? I'm just going to stick here. I'm going to stay here. We're going to flash bang. All right. Now, hopefully that other group just minds their own business. I hear him moving. Nice. Okay. So I think now we pretty much have to go. Well, we, we do have to go on the objective. Um... We need six damage. So we're going to need a uh, shotgun to do this. To guarantee it. Why can we not... Uh... Oh, there we go. Okay, so that would get us there. Okay. 
But I also wouldn't mind having a grenade available, which we do. We have a grenade available to try and blow out some cover there. This is sensitive because we don't want to trigger another group. Okay. That's a... Oh, are you fucking joking? Oh, God. Oh, no. No! Why? Why would you do that to me? That just seems evil. <laughs> oh, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Okay. Let's bring Nichols back here. I want to get off this car. I just don't trust them. At all. Um, I think I'm going to tuck Parker back here. Actually, we could probably move up a bit. And then we could bring... Let's bring uh, Easter Brook, not to that car. We do have high ground here. Which, if we can get through this... Then I think we'll probably make a run for that. I mean, the car's not going to blow up on in one shot if if the sectoid does shoot us. So let's just be cool. And I think Calantro we're going to bring back a bit. We need to kind of we need to separate or get further away from that other group. Is what I'm thinking. It's too close to overwatch with the sniper rifle anyways. The sectoid's going to live another day. Please be troopers. Please be troopers. Oh, thank you. Still, it's a lot of enemies, but... Could be worse. Come on, team. Shit. Alright, captain's down. That one trooper. What? Oh, these are like advanced troopers. These are not your regular, your regular everyday troopers. And here we go. Oh, man. I just don't think... Like, how can we do this? <laughs> this is, like, insane. Ugh. Don't do what I think you're gonna do. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, thank God. Okay. I see one way out of this. And, like, we can't retreat on every mission. Like, if we just keep retreating, we don't get anything, you know? So, it'll just prolong our deaths, really. Um... Because, like, I can't deal 9 damage consistently. I just can't. Look at, like, these guys are all, like, these guys are all super strong. So I think our, ho our only hope here is better cover. Um, Seeker, I think I need to get you up top. I could tuck you over here. That one trooper would have vision of you. For now. The others will get vision eventually. Um, and I don't see a way for us to pull back and overwatch here unless we want to go in half cover. I worry about Paulina for obvious reasons. Hey! Like that. It's a whole one damage we did there. Let's see if we can get that truck to do some damage. Or that car. Alright. It's not bad. And then Nichols. We're going down fighting.
Easterbrook. Well, we could use the car, but that's probably a death trap. Uh... Man, we might have to use the car. I hate it, but... Oh, if we could kill him, that would be huge. Like, I can't sit in half cover against all of this. She will most likely die. At least if I pull back, there's a chance that, like, only he can see her. But there's a very good chance that the mech launches missiles at th this car. Okay, this is our best case scenario that isn't going to happen. Oh, thank you, Mr. Parker. Whew. Come on, guys. Keep dodging the swords, please. Oh, you lived. Could be worse. Wow. Okay, well, they're hitting it. They're not dealing a ton of damage to us with the swords. Fuck, are you serious? Look at her, just down. Oh, this is really bad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I want to stay positive and think that we can overcome this, but like, it feels like it's too crazy. Like, I can't even pull back because we're disoriented. There's literally nowhere that I can go unless we just run, but we can't keep out running these guys. And being disoriented is like, it's killing us. They're actually all in like really good positions. Um, I don't see any way that we can survive this. But like, I honestly, I kind of feel like this might be the end of the campaign because... If we can't take on these missions, they're not going to get easier. And this mission wasn't even exacerbated that much by the fact that we had half the time. Because we did a pretty good job of finagling our way to this thing. Um, taking out the group around it. That was fine. And if we could have just got like one group at a time, it probably would have went well. Um, but didn't, so... Jeez... Just can't get a crit to save my life, literally. I think that's all she wrote, guys. Oh, holy moly. She's screwed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. There's going to be somebody that says, You should have brought med kits. I don't think that's going to help us in this scenario. They're too strong. Look at their health. Look at their aim. Like, we've got super troopers at this level already. That's wild. Hey! Never say never. 
Things could happen. I mean, I know Bradford, but there's just, there's no way. We're just prolonging the inevitable, I think. Like, that zombie will ruin her, I'm pretty sure. I mean, come on. Ugh. God. It's just insulting. And now this guy's just going to come down and flank us. No, he's not even flanking. Hello. Well, I mean, it happens. Failed campaigns are a thing. Oh, fuck. These snipers, man. Wow. Look at this. Oh, my God. These snipers are insane. <sighs> well, I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure that this campaign is uh, over. Pretty sure this is over. Um, I could try and delay it and keep going on extra missions, but I'm pretty sure it's over. So... Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean that we're done with XCOM, right? It really doesn't. It just, it happens. We lost the campaign. And I think we threw on some mods that made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. Uh, so I'll have to kind of tweak with that a little bit. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe it's the fatigue mod maybe I'll, let me ask you i'll ask you guys what your suggestions are um and i'll i'll take a look but i i just don't i mean maybe i'm wrong let's take a look at our armory here and let's see <laughs> so, like, we're failing our missions, right? Um, oh, we could keep taking these squaddies out, but there's, like... I feel like there's nothing that they can do against groups like that. And this is, like, that's a regular mission that we're going to be running into. Um, Biscamp, 37 days. He's our highest ranking official. We do have Edwards, Voper, um... We have Kelly, Keller, Baron, and Masamune, but then they're then they're fatigued for a week, and then we have to take out five squaddies. Like, I just I'm not trying to be pessimistic at all. I'm trying to figure out how we can make this happen. Um, but I just don't think it's I just don't think we can. I think I bit off more than I could chew with the mods. Um. I'm trying to think of like what I could tweak. Maybe what we do is we restart and we do um, less. You just keep regular pod sizes and see if that has an impact on those snipers too. Because people were mentioning that the pod sizes or the increased enemy squad sizes or whatever uh is impacting the snipers but i think that might just be the sniper thing and those advent snipers are wild like those are really strong for them to be able to run backwards essentially bringing them out of range and then still shoot is like 
whoa it's really good um yeah yeah i'm not sure let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I know some of you are going to be super disappointed. Um, maybe, the, hey, I don't know. Maybe there's a way I could have got out of that mission. I could have just evac'd everybody, but my thought process is like, if we keep just evacing all the time, we're not, we're literally making no progress, right? Like, we're going to be able to. Um, <laughs> we just, because we have to, we have to get wins. I guess. The mentality that we could have is like, okay, we could go in and get kills, get promotions, and then evac out, and who cares about the objectives? But then we can't research anything, because we don't have bodies or money. Um, we're going to be triggering dark events left, right, and center, which will exacerbate the problem that we have. And, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't see a way of, of moving forward. But I'm open to I'm open to uh, your guys' thoughts. And if we do start if we do start a fresh one, I already have like a bunch of the characters, and we'll just like start again, and we'll just rock and roll and try to keep things balanced. Because I think let's talk about like what is XCOM about, right? It's obviously about a challenge for sure. This is challenging, but I almost feel like it's bordering on too challenging, like. I don't see any way that we could have dealt with what we dealt with at the end there. Unless we just triggered, like, one pod at a time. Which is obviously ideal, but you just can't control it. When they did the drop um, for reinforcements, and then the mech group came in, that was, like, devastating. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm really trying to think about how we could make this continue. I just, I'm just not seeing it. I'm really not. Um, whereas if we start again... We we want to make it challenging, but it's also like it's about it's about the soldiers and it's about who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be a hero and all of this kind of stuff. Um, but that's the part that I really like. But at the same time, we need it to be a little bit more challenging than it was uh, previously. And the idea with like the fatigue mods and the increased squad sizes was to get more people. Uh, involved so yeah I'm not sure we just wiped our entire squad there and I'm like devastated about it it happens it happens all the time and uh, yeah we have to live with it I'll let you guys uh, chat about it in the comments please keep it civil if you think that I could have gotten out of that I mean I would love to hear how obviously if we could have brought maybe a bunch of grenadiers or something that'd be great but that wasn't an option, obviously. Um, maybe a f more flashbangs, but then, like, there was a bunch of kills that we needed the grenades for. Maybe a mimic beacon, but then, like, that's, w that's like, one or two shots from those soldiers. So, like, I don't think that would have made a big difference. Um, maybe, uh, maybe some med kits. But even still, like, those guys are dishing out, like, six or seven damage sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's really hard. But, uh, it sucks to lose. But that's, that happens sometimes, so. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah. We'll go from there. Now I'm rambling. Anyways, I hope you guys, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. Bye. The world you once knew is no more. Earth is now ruled by the Advent Coalition and their alien masters.